Today on Muay Thai for Nerds, we'll be reviewing the Golden Era Starter Pack. This includes 5 of the greatest players from the Golden Age server, all of whom have platinumed the game with their own individual unique playstyles. We'll begin by spotlighting undoubtedly one of the greatest players of all time, Samat Payakarun. Samat played the Muay Femur build throughout his career, having invested heavily into the agility and evasion tech trees. He also had incredibly high fight IQ base stat, along with the improved ring awareness passive, both of which were displayed through his signature teep attack. Having won multiple titles at the Muay Thai server, Samad crossed over to the boxing server and saw success there as well. He's also one of the few players to have made the jump onto the entertainment server, having released music albums and appeared in movies. Although several of his fights have been lost during the great server migration to the cloud, there are still a few available for player study, including his fights with Samraksan, Mungsurin, Panom Tomlek, Hapalang, and his legendary fight with Dizonoi who's going to be the next player we're going to cover in our Golden Era Starter Pack. Due to his taller than average but lightweight frame, Diesel Noy is one of the most feared players on the server. If you were to look up a template for the Muay Cow build, you would most likely see Diesel Noy's picture attached. His high pressure and aggressive style meant he had to dump most of his stat points into endurance and speed, both of which complemented his signature dash grabs. Diesel Noy would earn the nickname Sky Piercing Knee, which he would use to great use, including KO victories against players from neighboring servers such as Shinobu Noki from the kickboxing server and John Mankayo from the full contact server. Having no one else in his weight class to compete against, he relinquished his title and retired from the PvP server. Like Samat, many of Diesel Noy's fights were lost during the great server migration to the cloud, but there's still a few available for playback. These would include his super fight with Samat Payakarun, his fight against two-time Rajadamurn champion Nongkai Sor Prapatsorn, and another super fight with the next player we're going to cover, Sagat Pechindi. One of the greatest Muay Ma players to come out of the Golden Age server, Sagat Pechindi was a multi-time champion, having won titles from both Lumpini and the Rajadamurn PvP arenas on multiple occasions. Sagat's toughness was no surprise as he invested heavily into the strength and durability skill trees. He was a master at burst damage attacks and interruptions. He also received bonus points in his Waiku Ram Muay passive, which would cause a debuff to his opponent's confidence meter. Sagat also saw success in the neighboring boxing server, along with several fighting tournaments against some of the strongest warriors in the world, even developing a notable rivalry with a young Shotokan karate practitioner. Some of Sagat's most notable fights would include his fight with Nokweed Adevi, Komta Cho Sumanan, and Rakte Mungsarin. And it was his explosive style that propelled him into superstardom, much like the next superstar we're gonna cover, Kansak Sopunjit. Kansak started off with a Muay Cow build, but chose to respec into a Muay Femur build midway through his playthrough. Kansak's unique playstyle is that he uses his defensive skills offensively which is why the majority of his stat points were invested into the agility and durability trees. He also maxed out the counter ability, being able to adjust mid-attack to counter his opponent's counter. Having earned several achievements throughout his career, most notably winning titles from both the Lumpini PvP and the Rajadamur PvP arenas within a month of one another. He was also named the Fight of the Year twice, a prestigious achievement which was only given to the top tier players of the time. Some of Kansak's most exciting fights would include his fight with heavy hitting legend Wanchunoi, his fight with Muay Cao legend Lam Namun, and his series of fights against four time Lumpini champion Nungabun Sittler Tai, who also had a series of fights with our next and final player, Karahat So Superwan. Widely considered one of the greatest femur players of his generation, Karahat dominated the Golden Era server with his remarkable fight IQ, which was reportedly over 9,000. This was put to test on several occasions as he competed against some of the greatest femur players of the time, including Kansak, Boon Lai, and Nungaban. Having dumped the majority of his points into agility and speed, he was able to proc burst damage elbow attacks, which would oftentimes turn the tide of a match. He was a three-time PvP Lumpini champion and regarded very highly amongst his peers. Some of his most exciting fights include his quadrility of bouts against fellow femur legend Kansak, his fight with another femur player, Chat Tai, and his fights against Boon Lai, which are considered some of the greatest displays of player IQ ever seen on the server. We hope you're as excited for the Golden Era Starter Pack as we are. We'll be covering our post-Golden Era Renaissance Pack next. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next patch update.